From the dirt road that winds around their simple plot of land, you may not notice anything particularly special about their home. In fact, it's easy for their neighbors to forget they're even there, and that's the way they like it. For the simple community of monastic sisters, 45 minutes north of Kansas City, seclusion and simplicity is more than the life they chose. They believe it is their highest calling. We live a monastic life, that is, we live in a monastery, away, hidden from the world. Um, and the sisters who are here have left everything behind to, to be here. They've left their families, their homes, all of their possessions, uh, their bank accounts, some have had jobs, everything, in order to um, follow the call of God, of our Lord. So it is a little more than ironic that the voices of these women who spend their days sowing and tending to crops and farm animals would find their way into the ears and spirits of thousands around the globe. Ironic, maybe, but not all that surprising. All the ingredients for Billboard chart-topping success were already there. Add to that a young, classically trained mother superior who surrendered her vibrant music career in exchange for a habit and simple monastic life. While it seemed that her new vocation would lead her permanently away from public performance, it was instead the fruits of her daily devotion that would lead Mother Cecilia and her sisters to an international recording deal and chart-topping success. Number one is becoming a habit. It's one of the most unlikely hit records, a group of nuns. And they have surprised the music world with their singing. The Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, have reached number one on Billboard's classical traditional music chart for the fifth straight week. The new number one album is called Advent at Ephesus. Many of the nuns have no idea they're such a hit. Go out there and buy it. You can download it right now. And it is very soothing music. It's, it's, it's beautiful. some at the top. It is it's very beautiful. I think I'm going to go get some. Thank you very much. And the nuns were named the number one classical traditional artists of 2012. The sisters are so excited to finally be doing an album devoted entirely to the season of Lent. It was very difficult to choose the selections for our Lenten CD as the season is filled with such a wealth of tremendously beautiful and expressive music. I mean, all of these to some degree are, uh, or at least what we've done so far, have been four-part settings. So they are actually written for sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses. And what this all-female choir has done is made those settings work with all female singers. So we've got women singing tenor and bass range parts. So just a little more support. There was one one selection today where it was really deep in the in the low part of the vocal register and they were making it work and it's amazing. Do you hear that there's no M? There's no M, it's kind of the yeah, play 16, which was the last time through the refrain. We included a little of everything with chants from our office and from the Mass, as well as pieces in Latin and English. O Sacred Head Surrounded will be one of the most recognized pieces in this collection. It is featured by Bach and St. Matthew's Passion, and the words are by St. Bernard. The words to the Adoramus Te are attributed to St. Francis and are to this day prayed at each station during the Stations of the Cross. Lent is a time for us to meditate deeply on the tremendous love of God for man. Forty days have been lovingly given to the church to prepare her members for the greatest mysteries of our faith. Three of the pieces on the CD are written by the sisters, one entitled Divine Physician, and the melody of the refrain is taken from a Passion Tide Responsory, 
and the starting point for the lyrics is taken from Ezekiel 33. Of course, music is an integral part of our life. We're in the chapel eight times a day singing, singing to God, and it is just something that comes naturally to our hearts.